2014 Intercollegiate Sloop Championship, National Championship in match racing. This is the first race of the finals. We've got University of South Florida on the right and Georgetown on the left. Georgetown doing an upwind cross, which just is a little indication that the pin might be a little favored. Uh, the breeze is just filled in now. We're up to a whopping probably five or six knots. In the background, you're watching the first race of the Pettit Finals finish. Uh, that's uh, Boston College beating St. Mary's in the first race in a first to two. Uh, there were three lead changes in that race. So it was quite a great race. So hopefully they'll have two more really good ones. we got about three minutes to go in the start of the uh, first race of the finals. And we've got... Uh, Georgetown leading out on Port Tack. The uh, dock here at the Sawanica Corinthian Yacht Club is definitely going to be in play for the uh, match race starting, which is always fun. Uh, so you'll see uh, Nevin Snow, the skipper of Georgetown, bringing his boat around uh, into a circle. And uh, Chris bringing his boat over the top from South Florida. Nevin's tacked into a position where uh, Chris will not be able to jibe. So now Chris is uh, choosing to stop the boat and uh, cause Nevin to get into a position where he's not controlling him anymore. Now that's a, not a great decision on Chris right there. If, that, if there's a flag there, it's, uh, we'll have to see what the umpires say. And the umpires are reaching for their flag and up comes going to come the green and the white meaning no foul or the umpires don't agree if there's a foul play on we got one minute and 50 seconds to go the boats are probably 30 seconds from the line so lots of time to kill and uh, Nevin from Georgetown has taken the uh, leading position and Chris from South Florida is pushing uh, about a Probably uh, the best start here is going to be a close to lured. In other words, be close to lure to the other boat and force him to tack. Uh, the current is uh, pretty strong going out, which in the race course is right to left as we're looking at it. Uh, probably a little more current as you go out there, so you wouldn't want to do a big split to the left. With about a minute 10 to go, and they're probably 35. 40 seconds, 35 seconds from the line against the current. So Nevin leading to Leward there. It's a strong position. Chris is locked into windward. With 50 seconds to go, um, both boats are probably below the pin lay line right now, but Chris will not be able to live there for too long. And there he goes tacking out, and you'll see probably Nevin match that tack. We got a, the Pettit final boats are going to be obstructing the view here, but you can see uh, boat number three is Georgetown to windward of uh, Chris, and boat number two. And with only 20 seconds to go, uh, Chris is a really tough position here because he's he's too early for the line, and he's going to have to luff here to uh, to stay to windward of the committee boat. And with five seconds to go, you'll see Nevin just roll on to starboard. Be careful of being over early. And he's not. Yeah. So Nevin took the early lead. Uh, Chris got himself hooked in a little too early at about 45 seconds to go. And from then on, was uh, his speed was completely controlled by uh, Nevin. So excellent start for Georgetown. Um, but, you know, you're never that far behind. So we'll see what happens as they go up the beat. You'll see... Right now, you see boat number three, that winter boat's able to put their bow down and go fast forward and really put the hurt on um, a boat number two who has to tack out. And then you'll see the lead boat just mash the tack and really get right on their wind. And about halfway up the beat, they had a pretty big split. Georgetown took the right and Florida took the left and lost quite a bit. So uh, Georgetown has a very secure, about a six boat length lead here going down the first run. I go through the gate, back up to the windward mark, and down to the finish. Uh, right now, it looks like a pretty square leg. 
the breeze is filled in across the course. We're up to about uh, seven knots of breeze now. It's a perfect conditions for match racing. And uh, the only problem for Florida right now is it's pretty steady breeze. And with the current, it's probably a fairly one-sided track. So the uh, start becomes even more important. And um, But this is a first to three points. So a long way to go here. And right now, uh, Florida looks like they may be cutting the corner a little bit. We'll see how Chris plays this. So he's beginning by uh, splitting gates. Really good uh, crew work on both boats, as you would expect in the finals. Uh, the spinnaker drop was nice and smooth, but good speed through. And uh, South Florida has really, uh, really, they won the round robin. And they probably on paper have the least amount of match racing experience, but they, uh, you know, plenty of match racing chops to get off the line and on the track. And then they were always fast and their boat handling is always good and they won the round robin. So um, that's really what's going to be, what they have to count on right now is can they make their boat go a little faster than Georgetown? Can they handle a little better and chip away and get back within about two bolt lengths? You need to be within about two lengths to really have a, a solid shot at passing on this run to the finish. So that's what they're hoping for right now. They're coming down the uh, final run to the finish. Georgetown has led off the start, extended their lead on the first beat. Uh, South Florida took a couple lengths off them on the run, rounded probably four lengths behind them. Uh, through the gate and is now trying to uh, close down within a couple lengths where they can, their wind shadow can become effective. That's uh, South Florida, you see just driving on to starboard there. Uh, looks like Georgetown uh, will be crossing, so there's South Florida driving on their wind. That's their only shot right now is to hit their wind. And if Georgetown can get their wind in front of them, which it appears they have, then it's going to be uh, pretty much you know, really game over for uh, South Florida at this point because they're almost in on the finishing line. So uh, South Florida wants to fight to the end to keep fast, but uh, take away what they learned in this race. And it's the first to three points, a long way to go. Uh, but Georgetown is solidly in control of this race and looks like they'll take the first race of the finals of the national championship.